All right, Ian, thanks for joining us. Uh, I understand you've been working with the 19s. Tell us about what you've been doing. Yeah, it's been an uh, enjoyable experience. It's been assisting there with um, Dill, Thrushy, Heisey and Colin. Um, just focusing on 22 metre attack and helping out with skills and different things, but it's certainly been enjoyable. Yeah, how's it been working with the next generation of, of WA talent? Yeah, really uh, rewarding, really enjoyable. Passing on um, a lot of lessons from uh, playing for a while. So, yeah, there's a lot of exciting young talent there coming through in WA and it's uh, good to see the next generation come through and pass on those lessons. Um, have you done much coaching or leadership stuff before? Yeah, bits and pieces with the coaching. Obviously, uh, having captained the club for a while, done a fair bit of leadership work with leadership groups and um, emerging leadership groups, but this is probably my first real hands-on role in terms of a certain aspect of the game. So, yeah, it's been uh, an enjoyable one. I'm going to assume it's something you've got some aspirations for in the future or, or similar kind of work? Yeah, certainly want to be involved in uh, rugby moving forward and professional sport itself. Done uh, a couple of degrees in that space, finish off my Masters in High Performance Sport at the moment through ACU. So, yeah, um, really want to be able to give back to the game and give back to professional sport and, and those uh, young men and women uh, chasing their dreams. Any of the talent uh, really impressing you during this, this Under-19s Championship? Yeah, there's been quite a few. Um, young Dylan, the flank has been going well. Uh, Luke Holt-Brown's a real footy player coming through. Obviously, Doug Phillips in the academy, Tiam. Um, there's a whole bunch of names there that have been doing really well. So it's exciting for uh, the future of rugby in WA. And it must be nice. I know the force have got about four weeks off, a uh, bit of a break before you get into pre-season. It must be nice to get that opportunity to work with the younger guys. Yeah, absolutely. This uh, little block to try and sink my teeth into that role and see if um, if I'm any good at it and if I enjoy it, which I certainly am enjoying it. So, it's uh, yeah, it's been a rewarding one, and now I've got to start getting the body ready and ticking over for a uh, big pre-season coming up. Just finally a word on pre-season. Are you excited for it? I'm sure you've done a few before, so I'm um, looking forward to it. Yeah, pre-season 15, so uh, they never get any easier, but yeah, excited for uh, this one coming out. We've got a few different things that we're going to be approaching and obviously quite a few new players coming in as well. So it's always an exciting time, nerve-wracking when you get to day one and testing and seeing where everyone's at and how much work you've done, but exciting nonetheless. Awesome. Thanks for your time, man. Cheers.